good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we are going to be doing something very special and that is going to be a fantasy booking video we've done these in the past and you guys seem to like my thoughts on what i think wwe should do with certain talent you know certain situations we've done this with dean ambrose and his return we've done this with a couple other things and today we're going to be fantasy booking Kenny Omega in WWE, if he were to show up, you know, the rumors are running high right now. They're, they're flying all over the place. We're hearing, you know, uh, that, that this came out on the dirt sheets uh, from Dave Meltzer, I believe himself, said that Kenny Omega received a fantastic offer, in quotations, fantastic offer. I guess that was the verbiage that was used in this little deal here. Uh, fantastic offer from WWE. I've heard that, you know, his contract included, you know, a free range of character, which no other person's contract contains you know he would be able to give creative control over his character he would be able to prevent certain things um it guaranteed a wwe championship run it guaranteed um i think like increasage in you know uh, merchandise deals and merch sales and stuff he would get a better per percentage of the profits uh stuff like that i can't remember who i saw that on but it was like an in uh, like a little interview there and then of course you have to consider ring of honor and new japan you know they've been working closely together w around kenny omega and his career throughout you know he's been able to flip-flop from each and they've been really cool about it and everything also you have to include all elite wrestling AEW from the you know Cody Rhodes and the Bucks coming together forming that wrestling promotion and everything uh, he could end up there and I'm pretty sure that if he signs with WWE I think one of the also contract negotiations one of the little things on there was that he could not work anywhere else obviously that makes sense you know you don't want other people uh, making profit off of your wrestler or your talent that you have signed so that makes a lot of sense to me but the Royal Rumble I can't what is it January 27th or 25th I think it's the 27th uh, his contract with New Japan apparently does not run out until January 31st however that that is what everybody is saying everybody's saying you know who well he can't show up at the Rumble because his contract doesn't expire until after the Rumble but that's not necessarily the case guys I mean if the contracts aren't bulletproof they're made to protect talent and to protect the company when they sign, but they are not bulletproof. You know what I'm saying? You, you can get around contracts, especially if somebody that gave you the contract is willing to work with you. You know, New Japan and Ring of Honor have a very good relationship with Kenny Omega, so I'm sure if he wanted to and WWE wanted to book him this way and return him in the Royal Rumble, they totally could. So I, I'm not, you know, worried about that. If it's not even the Royal Rumble, it could be the Raw after the Royal Rumble is what I'm hearing possibly as well. So, I mean, it could easily be, it could easily happen. I'm just saying, look out for it. So in this fantasy booking video, we'll go ahead and get into it. I'm going to say that he enters the Royal Rumble at number 30 or uh, right there late, you know, a late entry, maybe 27 through 30. I know that R-Truth is supposed to be number 30, but I think that R-Truth is easily going to be taken out. He'll either be attacked from behind and somebody will replace him like that, or I think that he'll come out number 30 in the Women's Rumble or something. I highly doubt he'll be the number 30, but it, I wouldn't put it past WWE because they can be like, we told you he'd be number 30, and that's something WWE would do, typical WWE in WWE fashion. But anyways, Kenny Omega would come out at the Royal Rumble, had a strong show you know, uh, flying all over the place, hella good spots, how he always does. You guys know how Kenny Omega is. Elite talent. I think he's the best wrestler overall in the world. On the mic to in the ring, all around character, just amazing talent. Definitely the best. Uh, him, AJ, Seth, all of them up there at the top there. But uh, Kenny Omega comes out. He would win the Royal Rumble. I would have Kenny Omega debut and win the Royal Rumble. I think that it is very mandatory that he comes out and he looks hella strong in his debut. So if he debuts in the Royal Rumble, which in this fantasy booking he is, then he needs to win the Royal Rumble, and that's what I'd do. I'd have him win the Royal Rumble, and he would challenge AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. So at the Royal Rumble, not only does AJ Styles, or not only does Kenny Omega need to win the Royal Rumble, but AJ Styles has to win the WWE Championship from Daniel Bryan. Even though this is kind of dumb and doesn't make a whole lot of sense in the terms that, uh, you know, AJ Styles said that he didn't want to work a more schedule or whatever, but I think that Kenny Omega could sway that. I think that he could get in there and say, you know what, bro, uh, to make this match happen, we really need you to hold the WWE Championship. It's only for a couple months. We're almost to WrestleMania. I think AJ Styles would do that for Kenny Omega. And in this fantasy booking video, that's what I would have him do. You know, this is fantasy. 
see this isn't real life. So I mean, AJ Styles could uh, could hold it in fantasy, right? He he does it. He can work whatever schedule I want him to in my fantasy. So I'm going to uh, have AJ Styles win the championship anyways. So that's where Daniel Bryan's role takes place. AJ Styles will win the championship. He would then challenge AJ Styles to a championship match at WrestleMania, and we would have you know Kenny Omega could come out as the face. You know AJ Styles has got to be a heel, right? I mean he's been attacking Vince McMahon. He's been you know being vicious and stuff. So he's been having you know his anger come out and everything. He wins the WWE Championship, and Kenny Omega comes out and he's like you know this is my company now. This company has been running to the ground, lowest ratings ever uh, this year. You know SmackDown's been terrible, Raw's been terrible. He could you know run through, and this would not be false. You know he could even play an anti-hero role because everybody's going to cheer Kenny Omega. They're not going to boo Kenny Omega, even if they book him as a heel. No one's going to boo the man. So we're going to have Kenny Omega as the face or the anti-hero. Becky Lynch, Stone Cold Steve Austin type role here. So Kenny Omega would challenge a heel AJ Styles. You know, he's been beating up Vince. He's been coming off that ferocious side. That would go a step further. He would become a heel here and we would have this matchup set for WrestleMania. Another thing that could happen is, you know, Kenny could come out on the mic and say, you know, you took this for granted. You were supposed to be the best in the world. You were supposed to, you know, lift this company up, but you have done nothing. You know, you've been real stale. You, you, you just let everything fall apart around you, and you took it for granted. And then AJ Styles could be, of course, saying, you know, this is his company, whatever, whatever. And then on the Raw side of things, of course, you have your Universal Champion, and you have your Raw roster, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, those types of guys. Obviously, if I gotta have it my way, Finn Balor would go on and end up winning the chamber and fighting Brock Lesnar, but I'm not gonna say that just because uh, that would just be too fa that'd be too fair. You know what I'm saying? Can't get too out of hand on the fantasy booking here. So on the Raw side of things, you know, Roman Reigns is out of the picture. The big dog is no longer wrestling right now. We're waiting on him to come back, so that could be, you know, a big spot. That's why Kenny Omega is so important to the story, guys. Kenny Omega needs to come. He needs to be the new Roman Reigns, and he possibly he needs to be that guy. I think that when Roman comes back, he needs to have. They need to push him the right way, but they don't need to shove him down our throats. We need to have Kenny Omega as the big star. I think that he is the next big thing. He could be the next John Cena if they booked him that way and they booked him creatively and correctly, and I think that Kenny Omega can get that done. He's that type of talent. He is that good. So over on Raw side of things, we have the Elimination Chamber. Since a uh, regular superstar won and challenged AJ Styles, and we're going to have this side of the, uh, the, the the WrestleMania card will be Kenny Omega versus AJ Styles, then this would be your main event for WrestleMania 35 or your men's main event because Ronda Rousey and Becky and Charlotte and whoever is going to main event, I'm pretty sure. On Raw side of things, I know this doesn't have anything to do with the video, but this is where I would come from on Raw side. At the Elimination Chamber, I would have Seth Rollins outlast Finn Balor. I would have him outlast Dean Ambrose. I would have him outlast Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre. All said parties, Braun Strowman, whatever. Have Seth Rollins overcome all the odds and go on to fight Brock Lesnar. So this would be your two matches, and uh, this would be your two uh, WrestleMania 35 championship matches. You'd have the man, Seth Rollins, burn it down, taking on the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar, and then you would have Kenny Omega winning the Rumble in his debut match, running through everyone and getting to WrestleMania 35 and taking on the WWE Champion AJ Styles. And that's how I would book uh, Kenny Omega versus AJ Styles for WrestleMania 35. And, uh, you know, I, I think that obviously Kenny Omega would go on to win the WWE Championship. That's just the way it is. I think that's the way everybody would want it. And Brock Lesnar would lose and drop the title to Seth. Seth would go on a great Universal Championship run. I think everything would be right in the world. Brock can go off to UFC, and we can never see him again, um, ever. I think that he could just retire from WWE at that point. And then when Roman Reigns comes back, we could have a really good face Roman versus a heel Rollins for the Universal Championship. And then I guess Kenny can go over to SmackDown and battle with guys like Daniel Bryan, Samoa Joe, Randy Orton. Or we could do a flip-flop, and we could get some Finn Balor or Drew McIntyre or Dolph Ziggler, whoever the hell you want over there on SmackDown. You know there's going to be some flip flops and there's going to be some superstar shakeup after Mania, so maybe we'll get some new opponents for Kenny Omega. However, honestly, the way I think it's going to go, we've done my fantasy booking. I think the way it will go, though, is Kenny Omega is probably going to end up going to Raw because the Raw needs a big time star with the absence of Roman Reigns. Maybe Seth can go over to SmackDown. Uh, I heard that AJ may come over to Raw. So, um, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see, guys, but I'm very excited for the Rumble. It's my favorite pay-per-view, that and Money in the Bank, because of just the stipulation. The winner of the Rumble goes on to get a championship opportunity. I love that. You know, the MDT Royal Rumble is coming up, so it's going to be very interesting to see. Kenny Omega is in the MDT Royal Rumble, and he's the elite champion. He's trying to, you know, win the Rumble so that nobody else 
can come after his championship. Pretty freaking genius, if you say so myself. You know, he's the interim general manager as well. And um, honestly, I kind of rambled in this video. I hope you guys understood what I was trying to say here. But um, I think that Kenny Omega will show up. And if it's not in the Rumble itself this year, it's going to be the Raw after the Rumble. And I think that he's going to do it. And he's going to save wrestling from the trash that it was in 2018. In 2019, it's going to be a new year. They're going to turn over a new leaf. I believe that WWE has done everything in their power to get Kenny Omega. And that has been, you know, everything that's flying around. It's The ball is in Kenny Omega's park now. It's up to him. If he's coming, it's going to be on him. It's not on WWE side. They totally want him. He's the hottest free agent as of January 2019. So it's going to be interesting to see, guys. But um, it's going to be disappointing. It'll suck if he doesn't come. But I'll still be following the man everywhere he goes. Also, he did drop the IWGP Championship at Wrestle Kingdom 13. So... I don't know, man. Looks like he may be on his way out, and he may be headed to WWE, but uh, I guess we will find out. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Again, I, I'm so sorry for rambling on and on and on in this video, but I hope you guys did enjoy the fantasy booking anyways. What do you hope to see? Do you hope Kenny Omega comes to WWE? Do you hope he stays in the independent scene and in Ring of Honor and New Japan? Do you hope he joins All Elite Wrestling? And how would you book the man if he showed up in WWE tomorrow or at the Royal Rumble? I'd love to know your guys' thoughts, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.